What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got two big stories for you and some questions. So without further ado, let's jump into the tech news. Our first story of the day has to do with the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and some specs that we knew and some that we didn't and prepared to be somewhat disappointed because if there's another reason not to upgrade to the Z Fold 5, this would probably be why. So here we go with the information that's been leaked out by Ahmed. Ahmed is saying that the Galaxy Z Fold 5 will feature a 7.6 inch AMOLED, 120 Hertz display, 1200 nits of brightness, guys. That is, if I'm not mistaken, the same brightness the Z Fold 4 had. So if you didn't like the brightness of the Z Fold 4, Z Fold 5 has the same exact brightness on that display. It's 10 grams lighter, 253 grams. We have heard that. Flex inch 24 better than the Z Fold 4 at 29%. I don't even, uh, I don't even know what he means by that. I guess he's talking about the when you flex it, like, you know, bend it in half, uh, uh, open it in half. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 will bring 19% better CPU performance, 25% better GPU performance, and 30% NPU performance increases. 6.2 inch outside HD plus display, 120 hertz. 50, 12, and 10 megapixels, same cameras, basically 10 and four under display, 4,400 milliamp battery, 25 watt charging. And when you look at it just like that, you're kind of like, especially if you already have a Z Fold 4, you're like, why the heck am I upgrading? <laughs> Tell me why. Um, there's not a lot of meat in that bone if you already have a folding phone. Now, if you don't have a folding phone and you want to def and you want to get a folding phone from Samsung, get this one. But there's going to be plenty of competition out there that meets, beats, and exceeds Samsung in that regard. But you remember, Samsung makes really good software for the folding phones, so they might be a leg up on some of their competitors. So we'll keep our eye and we will compare these folding phones as they come out, especially the ones in America, the OnePlus Fold, the Pixel Fold, and the Galaxy Z Fold 5. And speaking of the Galaxy Z Fold 5, what about the Galaxy Z Fold 6? What kind of changes could we be seeing? Well, one of these changes is definitely welcome in my eyes and could be a reason to advise people to hold off on the 5 and get the Z Fold 6, even though it'll be over a year away from now. So here's the information. Obviously, this is early, early rumored stuff, so it might not come true, but the disappointing aspect of the Fold 6 is that it using, it, the disappointing aspect, yeah, that's right, Fold 6, is that it uses the same image sensor as the Fold 5. So it looks like the Fold 5 and Fold 6 will use basically the same cameras again for the millionth time. The major update of the Fold 6 is the change in the aspect ratio of the external display, meaning it's going to most likely be thicker, which is gonna be a great big asset for a lot of people to want to get that phone. I hate the outside display of the Z Fold 5, or 4, 5 too. It's just too thin and tall. It's not a very attractive, fun way to use the phone at all. Um, and then to add on to that, not to harp in anyone's excitement for the Fold 6, but Generally, what Samsung's been doing has been keeping the design of their phones for the same for you know multiple years, three years or so, four years. So when that Fold 6 comes out, it might have a bigger outside display, but the inside display, if it hasn't changed, is probably gonna be the same exact thing for another three years. They keep their cameras again for like a few years as well before they upgrade them. So don't expect anything too crazy over the next five years in terms of changes for this phone. Starting with the Fold 6, the Fold 6 will be an a, a, will be a rule of what to expect for the next two to three years after that as well. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below of what you think the Fold 6 needs to be a lot more enticing and exciting than the Fold 5 and 4 are in the comments down below. For me, if I had to say it, my dog's barking, is a definitely bigger outside outside display, bigger inside display as well, and then uh, better cameras, faster charging. That would be a great starting point. Let me know you guys. Without further ado, let's jump into our Q&A. All right, Mark Odom's asking a bunch of questions. Basically, is the Fold 4 and 5 going to look the same? Yes, really the only big difference you'll see is that hinge um, the way it closes, it'll close completely flat on the Fold 5. The OnePlus Fold will not go down to a $1,000 phone. There's no way, especially this soon. It's going to be somewhere, I, I think the lowest it'll be is 1500 
I, I can't imagine it going much lower than that. Jamie's asking, uh, does the OnePlus do trade-ins for phones other than their own, such as Fold 4? I like the look of their new foldable and I'm tired of same camera and charging offered by Samsung. So um, yeah, OnePlus will take other trade-ins. They don't usually offer amazing trade-ins, but they're not awful, awful either. So you should be fine. You should probably get something reasonable, but probably not as good as anything Samsung has to offer. And our last question from Ravenwing. I don't remember if you said it in another video, but will the OnePlus be coming to the US? Yes, it will be. Uh, and then will it be coming to carriers? I don't know specifically it'll come to carriers, definitely unlocked. And if it comes to any carriers, I'd guess it'd probably only be T-Mobile. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below with the hashtag question. We'll see you down the road.